going on everybody welcome back to my channel my name is miles thank you for tuning in today we are going to talk all about the road warrior fairing by memphis shades going straight on the highway here i'm actually very excited to test this uh fairing out with this helmet because as you guys know with the lane splitter the uh Oh great, I forgot to strap my helmet in. Um, with the lane splitter, the shield, the shield doesn't seal all the way, so it rattles a little bit. And with this showy, it's much better already. I can tell it's much better. Woo! I haven't been putting out content recently, and I apologize. It's been very rainy, horrible weather here. And uh, today is the first day it's cleared up and it actually feels great. I think I can feel fall like knocking at the door and it feels wonderful. So yeah guys, I got the uh, Memphis Shades Road Warrior fairing here. I literally installed it in the dark in my apartment complex one night. And before I installed it, you can see I sticker bombed the hell out of it. Thought that that would be a good idea to sticker bomb it before I install it, and it was. And um, I love it, man. I love the look of it. You know, when I first saw these bikes with this uh, fairing on it, I was uh, I was questionable about it. But uh, the more I saw it, the more I really liked it. And does it make a difference? It makes a huge difference riding. Um, you can see here, you can choose the different uh, style windshield to get. I just went with the, um, I think it was 11 inch one, 11 inch light smoke. And uh, I can still see through it, it's no big deal. No biggie. Yeah, it makes a, a big difference. With the, um, with the Beltwell lane splitter though, the uh, the shield, the visor actually like rattles. It, it makes a noise while I'm riding. It doesn't bother me too much, but um, the showy is nice because it is locked in and, it, and it, there's no sound at all. But um, man, this uh, fairing is uh, pretty awesome. It's gonna protect me from rain, any debris. Um, you know, I'm a full face helmet kind of guy. I know a lot of Harley riders, uh, they like the Earth or half helmets and stuff, but I get hit in the face a lot by debris. Like, my lane splitter already has scratches. Ooh, we got another biker here. Okay. Let's see if we can catch up. Great day to ride. 
figure I'd take it on the highway a little bit and show you guys what it feels like. Now this uh, this fairing, there are so many YouTube videos about the Memphis Shades Road Warrior fairing that I even questioned if I should make one. But why the hell not, you know? What's another one gonna hurt? This fairing is a pretty expensive. It was a four-piece deal. You had to get the headlight extension block. You have to get the mounting hardware. You have to get the, the actual fairing itself and then the windshield. So it is a four-piece deal and it's not cheap. But um, it's a very nice fairing. There's a couple other options out there for fairings. I think a really, uh, there's a cheaper one and I highly do not recommend it because it rattles. Gosh, if I think of the name of it, I'll, I'll tell you guys, but I've sold quite a few of these at Harley and every time the customers were really happy with it. So it is a top seller along with the Saddleman. Obviously it gives it that club style look. Woo! Feels so good just to let loose on the bike. Alright, let's see if we can buckle this helmet because it is bothering the shit out of me. <laughs> that girl was holding on for dear life. Man, get your girlfriend a sissy bar. Oh, it feels nice riding without a backpack too. That's another thing I plan on doing pretty soon is the Harley Davidson sissy bar for the soft tail street bob so that I can put the Kuriak and duffel bag on there and carry stuff and not have stuff on my back. I'm tired of riding with a book bag. The only thing that's holding me back is that if I get the sissy bar, then I won't be able to cover my bike with the bike like a rain cover unless I cut a slit in it for the sissy bar. But I still might do it anyways because the sissy bar is very necessary. riding it a little hard today because I'm excited oh yeah I got a rain sock too for the SNS air cleaner there um, because I don't want to ride in the rain all I can envision is just rain going right down through the air filter into the engine and it, I'm pretty OCD so that rain sock is nice so give me a second I'm gonna get off the bike here and uh, show you what it looks like all right guys, so I found a good spot here to admire the Bob. You can see that the fairing changes the whole look of the bike up. And yes, I did learn that the Street Bob comes with black mirrors from the factory. So the factory must have done something wonky <laughs> and put some chrome mirrors on mine. But those will be gone soon. I've just been holding back. Um, that's probably the next move is going to be the mirrors and the levers. Um, yep, there's the rain sock that I got for the air cleaner. <clears throat> The bike's a little bit dirty. Been out in the rain and stuff, but the river rock looks so gorgeous. Look at it. Just look at it. I've got to fix this part in here. Do a little bit of adjustment so you can see that the the headlamp is angled a little bit to the right there. More space on this side, not on this side, but I'll get around to that soon. That derby cover looks sick. All right, well, uh, let's get back to it then.
So yes, if you are looking to get a windshield for your street bob, I highly recommend the Road Warrior fairing. Obviously it's very popular. There's a lot of stuff, a lot of content on YouTube about it. Anybody who rides a Harley or a street bob or a sportster knows about Memphis Shades. Clockworks is another good brand, but they don't have this style that Memphis Shades has. And no, I didn't get it painted because, well, it's going to get dirty. It's going to get filthy. It's going to get hit with debris, all kinds of stuff. And then I would cry about how the paint scratched or anything like that. And I think it looks good just black. You can order the quarter fairing from Harley, already painted. Uh, I was thinking about doing that. Ooh, round and round we go. All right, let's launch.